Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Carl's Garage brought to you by Straight Edge Content. And today I have <laughs> my son here with me, Donovan's Domain. <laughs> I have him with me and I'm gonna teach you guys how to put coolant in your car. In that video, I taught you how to put coolant in a Toyota. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to put coolant in a Kia. Now, they are very similar. Even whenever you go purchase these two coolants, they look the same. Prime example, both of these are blue bottles. If I send a child in, or if I don't know any better, and somebody tells me, yeah, it's in a blue bottle, I wouldn't know which one to get. This one says foreign, this one says foreign. So that's why I'm here to teach you how to put coolant in your car the right way. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so now we are in the inside engine bay of my 2015 Kia Optima. And Donovan, can you tell me where you put the coolant? Um, right here. Great. Yeah. So this one says coolant. And what does this one say? Um, washer only. Great. Now, back in the day, they didn't necessarily write washer only or, or coolant or in some cars, you don't have a coolant reservoir, you just have this. So in some cars, you can only put coolant here, which is the radiator. But luckily, this 2015, and it's a newer model, you can put coolant in this. So, what coolant do we need to put in there? This white one. Yes, it's a green coolant. Now, let me just show you guys something that's very significant, so that you don't make this same mistake at home. Go ahead, Donovan, hand me the other one. So this is just a quick tip to teach you guys at home. What does this say? This says Asian vehicles. This doesn't say anything about Asian vehicles. Now this Kia Optima is a Korean vehicle, which is an Asian vehicle. So if you were to go to the store and somebody were to say, well, what type of car do you have? Well, I have a Kia. Well, I see Asian vehicles, so I'm gonna think, well, I can put this in there. And if you don't have any coolant already in your, in your tank, you wouldn't know what color the previous coolant was. Luckily, I have some green left in here. If we go over to the Toyota, you can see that it's red. But if you have a leak or you have an issue and you don't have any coolant in your engine at all, or in your radiator or in your reservoir, you wouldn't know. So the reason why I'm making this video is to just teach you that they're both come in blue containers. This one does say Lexus, Scion, and Toyota. So that is very good. But if you happen to have an Asian vehicle, a Suzuki, a Mitsubishi, a Kia, a Hyundai, a Genesis, and the list goes on and on of other Asian vehicles that you can have. So to me, this right here is very bad marketing because there's a lot of Asian vehicles. So we know the right coolant that we need. We need peak antifreeze. Both of these are already pre-diluted, so you don't need to add water. I will leave a link in the description to this one because this one is for my Kia Optima. So Donovan, go ahead and pop the top on the coolant. Yep, pop the top. Just lift it up. There you go. Yep, just lift it up just like that. Yep, there you go. Make sure uh, one thing that you want to do whenever doing this, you always want to make sure that the car is off and cool. You never want to do this whenever the car is hot. Also, another trick, if for any reason, the reason why I'm teaching my son this is because for any reason, if you're ever with your mommy and you guys are stranded on the highway or something like that, now you know where to put coolant if anything were to ever happen to her car. That's why I always suggest leaving a couple water bottles in your car in case of an emergency, then you can always pour water. I do not put water in your car unless you absolutely have to. It's not something that you want to do. Water boils at a way lower temperature than coolant. Coolant boils at a very high temperature and it doesn't have any, it has any corrosion properties. If you put just water in your car thinking you're going to be okay, it's going to rust all in, inside. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the top off of this. And I'm showing anybody that even a kid can do this. So this is childproof, so you want to squeeze this. Oh, yeah. I have and you want to turn it. Yep, 
Yep, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Keep turning it, keep turning it very slowly. It's very oily. Yep. Now somebody from the store popped my top. I didn't do this, so be careful. If you go to purchase um, coolant from the store, make sure you check the top, because I haven't checked this, and I've had this coolant in my garage for a very long time, and somebody else popped the top. So they must have did that at the store. So I'm gonna throw this out, don't move. We see the letter L, and we see the letter F. What do you think those letters stand for? Low and full. Perfect, great. So we have to put it to full, because right now, it's a thousand degrees here in Houston, Texas. It's so hot. So you definitely want to make sure that you have coolant in your car. And right now I am very low, so we don't want to be there. So I'm actually going to pour it and Donovan's going to hold the camera. You're shaking. You're spilling it. Yeah, that's okay. Spilling it's okay? Well, you know, it's not okay. It'll burn off later. All right, move out, move back a little bit. All right, right there. Okay, so now we're on the full line. Close the top. Okay, so now it's all filled up. Now we just have a rag here. We just want to clean everything off. It's a really dusty rag. And it'll cool, and you shouldn't smell any coolant, but that's how you put coolant in your car. Very simple video. A child can do it. And that's how you tell the difference between coolant for two different types of Asian vehicles. So don't get confused. There are two different types of Asian vehicles and there's two different coolants that go in each one. This one is for Toyota, Lexus, and stuff like that. And this one is for Kias. Now it could work in other cars. I don't know, but I know it works for my Kia. I know that works for my Toyota. So that's gonna be it guys for this video. Hopefully it helped you out and taught you guys a lot about which coolants you should use in your car. Again, remember there's two types of uh, Asian coolants out there. So make sure you find the right one. And this is very easy to do. Definitely teach your children to do it just in case somebody's out, just in case they're in somebody's car and they happen to, something happens to the radiator and they can say, hey, I know how to put you know, water or coolant in your car so that we can make it home. All right, guys, you know everything about this channel is about safety and keeping your car healthy. So please subscribe. I would truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Subscribe to Donovan's Domain. He's back there being silly. Make sure you guys check us out. And thank you for all your support. Be safe, be basic, peace. <laughs>